Good morning, you guys and gals. Um, so I got a 2003 Honda CRV. This thing's got 295,000 kilometers. It's only in for an airbag recall because they don't bring their car here for service because they, they, they do their stuff somewhere else. Uh, there's a couple of things. Uh, other than the airbag, there's a multi-point inspection, but I just want to bring you along on what I find on my multi-point inspection on this vehicle. So first things first, uh, timing chain's rattling. I don't know if it can uh, catch that on camera, but let it let the idle settle down first, and then you hear it go da 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 da. There it is. On these ones, the uh, there's a tensioner for the balance shaft. Um, uh, that thing will start rattling. It, it always sounds like the AC compressor, but it's not the AC compressor because you get, we get shops that replace the AC compressor and the rattle's still there. It's actually the uh, chain for the balance shaft assembly on the bottom that starts rattling. Uh, also, the check engine light is on. Not another, not a customer's complaint. Didn't didn't mention anything about it. But I just want to bring you along and see what I find on this multi-point inspection. All right, first things first, oil level. It is on the low mark. On the dipstick. Oh, that's one thing. There's a little bit of an oil leak. You know, you'll see it when we get underneath. Um, that's for up here. Okay, so first things first, this side. <laughs> Cannot turn it. It's, it's locked up. I tried pulling the piston, you can hear it. It won't move. Coming around the back, rear brakes are almost metal on metal, but the, the caliper moves in fine. See? I was able to push the piston in and this side spins fine. This side, same deal. I was able to compress the piston and this side spins fine. Same thing here. I can move the piston in and this side spins fine. I can't turn this side because the other side is seized. So, uh, one caliper, rear brakes, uh, fronts are still like four millimeters of pad material, even on the seized side. So that's that. Uh, let me show you what else is there. So under here, um, we do have an oil leak. It's gonna be that VTEC solenoid, as you can see. So that's leaking. That's why you got all this oil on the uh, CV, inner CV boot, and then down to here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it's really dripping, but there's also an oil filter here, so that can also contribute with the, the amount of oil that's here. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I was mentioning that the timing chain is rattling. Uh, well, the, the chain for the uh, the balance shaft oil pump assembly that's in here. I can't remember if this thing has the uh, the plastic with a spring tensioner or it has a separate hydraulic tensioner for this one. Uh, but what it is, is uh, if you have that rattling noise constantly and people say it's like the AC compressor, uh, make sure you take the belt off. And if it's still rattling, it's not your AC compressor. Put a stethoscope right, right, right where this oil pan is, right? And then you can hear it, it's really loud. So it's usually that, that chain or tensioner that's in the uh, balance shaft assembly that's uh, rattling away. Uh, other thing that I found is um, if we go along the back here, this uh, exhaust hanger is broken and it's just, you know, it's kind of just dangling. You can see it's kind of kind of leaking, but yeah, it, it's, 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 uh, it's not long until this, this thing's gonna keep moving and then these, these bolts will kind of start breaking and then you got the muffler just hanging so that's another thing but other than that sway bar links and everything are pretty tight the only things that i see this this guy didn't didn't get his cat stolen yet <laughs> but all the heat shields are all starting to rot away so yeah I'm gonna put in my recommendations and see if they want to do anything because they don't do anything other than the recalls and you know inspections here. But if if they do decide to do anything, I'll just add it to this video and see what they want to do. Oh, well, of course, this customer has declined everything. I gotta pump up the brakes because I pushed the pistons in. Um, that kind of kind of ruins the video, I guess. 
because I can't I can't make you guys a repair video. Um, but yeah, apparently that check engine light has been on for the last two years because two years ago we put in a window regulator that a customer supplied, uh, and the check engine light was on two years ago as well. So they're not worried about the check engine light. Also, not worried about any other uh, repairs that it needs. So I got, I'm just gonna kick this car out. That kind of ruins the uh, uh, I don't know <laughs> the plans for making you guys a repair video because I know how you guys wanna wanna see all that. But I think I might just uh, make put all those customer declined work into one video and just keep them all together. That way I can make you one one uh, one video out of all the work that gets declined. Uh, just to see what you know kind of happens around in the dealership and you know what kind of stuff that customer doesn't usually want to want to repair uh, but yeah anyways I'm just gonna pull this car out and uh, yeah see what we get in the next one all right first thing in the morning actually it's just 8 o'clock a.m. right now and you know every morning it's just always diag for me because first one to come in uh, but I got a 2005 Honda Odyssey 228,000 kilometers. This thing's actually in pretty good shape. It's really nice in here. I mean, the leather is kind of held up pretty nicely. Um, but this customer's complaint is customer reports the engine light is flashing and lacking power inspect and report. So this thing, this, this being a 2005, it has the infamous VCM motor. So it's it basically cylinder deactivation. Uh, so when you, you I, I, I know you see a lot of videos on YouTube and online saying how you know VCM causes oil burning and etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, Actually VCM does not cause oil burning your engine would have to be burning oil before uh, VCM actually cause an issue and it starts misfiring because uh, when v, VCM disables the cylinders um, And your engines also already burning oil uh, what happens is in in the cylinders it, it doesn't create enough heat to burn the oil and it fouls up the spark plug and then when they fire fire it back up again uh, it carbons up those spark plugs and uh, basically you get your misfire so people who say you know you can install these things to you know disable the VCM I think they, they put a, a connector in between the EGR or a coolant temperature sensor to prevent it from going to VCM uh, sure that that will fix your um, misfire issue but it will not fix your oil burning issue because the original issue is it's burning oil uh, VCM is just like a supplement issue that happens when your engine is burning oil uh, so what do you want to do uh, well I've already scanned it for codes uh, we got cylinder 2 misfire and that's what it is and it is it is running really rough right now so typically what I do is um, I just pull out the spark plugs one two three and four because those are the four cylinders that go into cylinder deactivation and I just check those spark plugs and usually when I see it's burning oil uh, what I do is I recommend um, uh, piston rings on these engines um, usually 2005 is, is a pretty costly uh, costly repair but a lot of times people just throw in a new spark plug and it's pretty quiet in the shop there's nobody here but one thing you want to do is check the oil level, right? So look at the oil change sticker. Last time it had his oil change was about 3,000 kilometers ago. And it's just uh, touching the tip of the dipstick. So I don't know how well you can see that, but it's just touching the tip of the dipstick. So it is low after 3,000 kilometers. I think that's like roughly 1,800 miles for you guys. Oh, okay, my bad. So this this side of the bank does not have cylinder cylinder deactivation because you'll have the spool valve here. Uh, so this one only has cylinder deactivation in the back because your spool valve is right here. So that what that is what controls the uh, cylinder deactivation for this part of the bank. I guess the newer ones will have one in the front, and usually it leaks oil onto the alternator, and that's uh, that's. <laughs> That's when your alternator fails, but this one does not have VCM on number four cylinder. So it's just mainly in the back. So that's what we're checking. So I guess they revised it in the newer uh, the newer engines on the Odysseys. Uh, and also I think the pilots. So VCM, will, you'll, you'll know it has a VCM for cylinder number four if it has the uh, spool valve right here. Well, just make sure you don't have like rodents chewing your wires, but I looked at 
the wires back here, they're all intact. So I'm just gonna pull the spark plugs out and then we'll take a look at what they look like. Okay, so I pulled the spark plugs, they're uh, how they are coming out. They're all actually kind of loose. You can see all that junk on there. So definitely the bank back there is all burning oil. And this is cylinder one, right? Here's cylinder four, so the front bank looks pretty good. All right, so I put the three spark plugs in, uh, also topped up with a quart of oil, and we're gonna see what the customer wants to do. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, well, actually, let me know in the comments, does VCM cause oil burning? But here's my, uh, my input on this, because when, when, you know, get a 2005, 2006, 2007 Odyssey, uh, and they only want to do when it's customer pay they only want to do the one bank because you do save a bit of money uh, if you don't do the second bank uh, but at the same time you're still burning oil because when they come in for the oil chain they're still losing a bit of oil just as just not as much as before when it was burning the oil on the bank one and you're getting a misfire so uh, or my opinion on did does does VCM cause the oil burning but my opinion it causes the misfire because it's originally burning oil and it's not because of the vcm that's causing the oil burning so a lot of a lot of people online say that you know vcm is causing your oil burning no the engine's already burning oil the vcm where it deactivates the cylinder causes it to misfire not causing it to burn oil because bank two is still burning oil especially when you only do piston rings on the 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 bank one uh, you're still burning oil, so just not as much. But anyways, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, and if I get this job, I'll uh, include the piston ring job in the video because I did quote uh, uh, a timing belt. Uh, both banks uh, also gave the option if they want to do, do the one bank so they don't get the, the misfire issue. Uh, a lot of times customers would do that, but I also quoted the timing belt So um, it, there's no extra labor because I have to remove the timing belt to get the cylinder head off anyway So there's no added labor to do the timing belt plus it's already a hundred about a hundred thousand kilometers since the last time They did the timing belt. So it's it's up to the customer if they want to spend the money on extra parts uh, But other than that um, Yeah, it's it is what it is. I guess it, it's 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 burning oil on a second bank uh, when there's no VCM on that bank, but yeah, I don't know. But anyways, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, if I get the job, I'll bring you guys along.